Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Baldur's You've Gate with... Beanie81. Hey, folks. Right, so, last time we got a party together, and we took stuff from our dead father, and now we're going to head on out. Let's get to it, then. Um, shall we head... Uh, if you check the world map, are we heading to the friendly arm in, then? Um, so... Right, I'm in the area map. I'm just going to go to the world map. Yep. Oh, yes, I see. So we have to go kind of northeast sort of way. The way that it works in this is uh, each area is a square map and then you move, you can unlock the areas to the top, right, bottom and left of it by going out of that relevant side. Right, okay. So, so we need to go right and up or up and right? I think right and up is the only possibility here. Uh, right. If I remember rightly. Okie dokie. It doesn't work. So, let's follow the road. Yeah, road following the road seems a better idea. It does. I, I don't like the idea of wandering around in the wilderness. Uh, although that will be something we probably do a lot of during the course of this Let's Play, I'll uh, say that now. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, this is... Uh... Oh, here we are. Is this where we go off the edge? Yep. Uh, you can see your cursor changes to the wheel. That means that we are going to the next map. To... I can't... It's quite small on my screen. Uh... Oh, travelling hours, eight. It says. Okay. So do I click on it and it yep. goes there? Oh, oh really? Oh, that kind of thing. Oh. Stay oh. thy course a moment to Hello. indulge an old man. Uh, ho there, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh onto a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Travelling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? Hmm, okay. That is uh, very old fashioned speech. A fair bit of desperate, actually. Might uh, you know the way to a friendly arm in? Uh, I was told I might find some friends there. That I would. The inn is but a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I have no doubt that thy friends shall be there, waiting with open arms. My sympathies for any hardships the road may have inflicted upon thee, though I am certain everything shall turn out for the best. My, but I have wasted too much of thy time and said too much already. I shall take my leave and wish thee all the best. Mm, I wonder who this old man is. Aye. I think I've, I've never actually got far enough to meet him again, but I, I'm pretty sure I know who I he is just this. due to knowing the uh, Forgotten Realms lore. Okay, so this is Lion's Way. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, should we follow the road, then? Candle yeah, to the west, the coast way to the east. Ooh. Oh, Zvart's. my word. There's what? There's a Vart. Um... Right, guess we just attack it. Um, no, it says uninjured. Yep. Go for it then. Uh. Whoa! Imwin took a hit there. Who did? Imwin. You can see oh, no. the portrait. Oh, wow, that's not good. Um, oh. Should probably pause the uh, target gun. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move away. With everybody, with everybody, and um, thanks. We'll get. Are you are you searching it? Uh, yeah, I found a short oh. sword and some gold. Oh, can I have the short sword, seat, yep. please, in case one of mine breaks? There you go. Uh, right, one thing. Perfect. Uh, Imwin has a potion of healing. Um, okay. In inventory, you can throw that either into a quick items, or you can just right-click it in your inventory and click drink potion. So, uh, potion of healing. Uh, drink potion. Oh, she's fine now. Yep. So, uh, when we're looking at the, um, we've got armor class 6, current hit points 8 of 8, and this is, uh... One thing I should mention when, uh, Hell, she's mentioning armor class in this, uh, as opposed to the modern day D&D rules, it's actually the lower the better. Um, oh, right. So, it kind of starts off at 10 and goes down. Uh, I really don't understand it, but that's all I really know about it. Uh, okay, fair enough. I mean, good job we know it's different then. Yep. You want um, it? You've got well, it. Follow the Give road, I guess, straight. and everybody follow me. me. Oh, oh, auto pause, enemy sighted. Um, I can see. Uh, oh, yeah, I see him. He's on the crossing. Deceased, there's some diseased stuff down there. Diseased gibbling, yeah. Oh, diseased, is it? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, right, okay, so I'm going to move them there. 
I'm going to send Hellish in to fight it. Okay. Uh, I've sent my two in. Ready? Go! And the rivers run red! Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. Shooting into combat, okay? Uh, yeah, but I don't believe there's any chance for it. It's not like uh, one D&D where you have beats to get rid of that, so I assume that yeah, it's fine. I never seem to have any problems with it. Give it to me straight. Oh, those two. Right. right. Disease gimlings oh. don't have much on them. Uh, oh. In this case, they have nothing on them. What is this? Um, it's a... Oh, it's a beacon, uh, like a direction yep. signpost. So we want friendly army into the north, and we'll follow the path, I guess. Yeah. Well, we've already had uh, one dangerous encounter so far. Yeah. Well. Well, no, we've had two. Uh, oh yeah, this session. Well, I won't call them dangerous, Hello, pal. but uh, we've definitely had two encounters. Oh, what's this? Oh. Uh, I'm speaking to him. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There be beasts around with better, uh, with better hair in than we. Uh, you seem quite at home out here. What's the most dangerous thing you've seen? Um, the most dangerous thing I intentionally went after, stalked after an ogre mage uh, for a few days once. Had a party of me uh, own back then, killed the ogre, lost the party. <laughs> oh, gold. Uh, not worth uh, the trade, really, if you ask me. I've seen more dangerous beasties, but uh, usually over my shoulders I'm making tracks as fast as I can. No shame in running for your life when your life is on the line. Off with you now, I uh, meet to catch. Okay. Some random person, isn't it? Uh. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a uh, signpost. Yep. And I think we've got the friendly arm in. Cool. Okay, off the edge we go. Yep. That one's my turn to click. Friendly arm in. Oh, cool. The frame rate was really off me there for some reason. Sorry for that, folks. It's my PC doesn't seem to like to run Bandicam and I've got cinematics this. at the same time. Who needs cinematics? And that's it. <laughs> Especially Baldur's Gate cinematics, to be fair, but hey. I think they've also been updated in the enhanced version, actually. Um, yeah, it certainly looked quite uh, quite good compared to what I was expecting. Uh, right, we're inside now. I was expecting something a lot smaller than this. No, this is... They've got bloody oh. great big massive... Catapulty? No, they're not catapults. They look like crossbow type things. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. It's, it's night time. It's an inn in the middle of nowhere. Has to be somewhat fortified. Well, there's lots of people stood around. Lots of commoners and stuff. All right. Oh, oh there's a chest out. No, it's, no, I what can't click on that. Head? One. Uh, there's a big building over here. Is that the one we're heading towards? Yep. Or? Oh, a quick look at the map. What do you need? I've got this. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, let's go back. Hmm? What's stairs there? There's also some sort of. Hi, friend. Oh. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Hmm. Do we tell him what's going on, or do we keep it to ourselves? Let's keep it to ourselves for now. Not much, really. I'm just uh, uh, some road-worn travellers looking for a place to rest. I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward, but you've the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height they were. Same style of dress, or thereabouts. I dare say you seem to be the spitting image of them. Might you have travelled from Candlekeep by any chance? Um, actually, yes. I was there until quite recently. Well, then. That just about clinches it then. By any wild stretch of the imagination, would your name happen to be Master Hellish? Oh, this guy's a mind reader, or he was expecting us. Uh, e why, yes, good sir, that is my name. Um, it would seem that I am the one you have been looking for. Yes, yes, it would. In that case, don't move. I have something for you. 
Oh, he's gonna try and kill me, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. Pause. Okay. Uh, actually. What do you need? Touch from evil on you, since you're the one that we need to uh, keep alive. What need you get? Okay, I've told everybody what? to attack it. Oh no! Could you what? throw me? Could you throw Monter on a sword? His this sword's broken. Be good. Um, uh, let's go over to him. Oh, it is, isn't it? A long sword. Yeah, it's, never mind. He's got a long sword now. Right, oh, okay. Is he proficient with that? I can't tell if that's red or not. Uh, not usable by. I haven't yeah. got a long sword. Yeah, I've got daggers. Give, Give him my morning straight. star. Uh, it's alright, he's he got a long sword. Me? It'll do for me. Like okay. Me. okay. Ready to go? No, um. We've got we, this spellcaster dude we got here. Right? Mm -hmm. Or is it a woman? Uh, I'm not sure. How do I how do I get him guy. to uh, attack with spells? Oh, um, Zvar. Yeah. Okay, you if you click on him, you yeah. can see in the bottom middle. Yeah. There's uh, basically class abilities. Uh, there should be a moon with some stars. Yeah. Click on that, and that'll take you to all your spells. Well, yeah. Okay, I've got uh, all the spells sorted. And okay. what do I do? Do I tell him? Do I click on the spell? Or? Click on the spell, and then click on the target. Your cursor should change to the moon and stars symbol. And then you click on the target with that. Let's see. There we go. So hopefully that is right. It should. Uh, I've just noticed the enhanced edition is actually quite nice. It, if the top right of his portrait should show what he's doing. So it should have the spell symbol. Oh, yes. Um, so. You're not doing anything, apparently. Yeah, I can't see your actions either. All oh, right, okay. Oh, pardon me. Um, we going? Yeah, go. Okay. My blade will come oh wow, that, he's fast. actually casting magic now. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Oh. Is it just me, or is Master Hellish not doing anything? Um, yeah, so that guy casts so many crowd control spells. It's, um, I think only one person is not. Wait, let's see. Um, let's quick look at record. I think that tells us. Yeah. Okay, so Calvia is panicked. Uh, Imwin's panicked. Sorry, Imwin's panicked. Calvia's panicked. Um, Nontron is panicked, and Zar is just Zar. Zar is just Zar. Brilliant, brilliant. I've I've gone and looted him. There's some scrolls that say armor, magic, missile. Oh, there, there. All oh, right. Red means I can't. I'm not proficient. So shall I give them to Zar then? Uh, if the scrolls, yeah, go for it. Although. I would suggest grabbing what we want from those two. Um, for now. So, right. I'm going to steal everything. Not to give anything it, away there. Carry it myself. Spoilers! What spoilers alert! <laughs> give it to me straight. This, game out, this game's been out long Don't enough for us yeah. not to need to worry about spoilers, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying not to spoil it for you, mate. Uh, well, don't worry, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> In provision like the elves. Um, Ward of Magic Missiles item oh. I cannot give to Halish. Oh god, did you just see what Zar just said? Character is too far away. No, I didn't. Let's have a look, I'm going back. I wanted Infravision like the elves, but it's more than just taking their eyes. Right, interesting. <laughs> that guy is slightly dark. Just have interest, I forget. Uh, where is his... Oh yeah, he's Chaotic Evil. Interesting. And Monteron is neutral evil. What do you need? I've right, I just realised why I couldn't take um, this stuff. So she was too far away from me to nick hmm. it. Oh no, uh, not so much Imowin, more Monteron and Zvar. All oh, right, I um, like Imowin anyway. Yeah. She can have those things back then. There we go. Right. Okay. Do, 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 do. Montron is feeling a bit too warm, guys. That's totally. I'm not. I'm not being at all out of character from there. He's, he's just warm. I may have just stripped him, but you know. You must it's gather fine. your party before venturing forth. Oh, we're inside, hey, are we? Friend. Yeah. Good to meet a fine side such as yourself. Oh. Uh, oh, that's talking to me. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. Me and Cole. 
in Baldur's Gate, I can't to get to see him. How come the road's cut off? Well, where have you been the past few months? The roads are crawling with uh, was that, brigades and bandits after uh, every scrap of iron you got to get here. Surely you must have uh, f fled some on your trip here. At least you came uh, by the west road, that is. Well, for your sake and mine, I hope the road's clear up soon. Uh, I'll see you around. Right, okay. Well, uh, I sure uh, ain't going nowhere. A bit of uh, story there. Hmm. Yeah, story's usually quite good in these sorts of things. Mm. Oh, an innkeeper. So I think this is the point where um, we'll have a bit more dialogue and then we'll get into a lot more combat after leaving the friendly army. Especially yeah. if we take on exploration, which I really recommend we doing. Okie dokie. Right, so I'm going to speak to this dude. Mm -hmm. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Iron is a lifeblood of this whole region and it's sure painful when it gets scarce. So, what can I do for you? Uh, what do you have to sell is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to have a look in the buy and sell. I'm going to sell this um, angel skin ring, I think, um, because I don't see any use for it. There's a quarter staff here that I can't sell, a belt that needs identifying, a scroll we haven't read, and a load of uh, spells. Um. I'm just going to have a look and see what he's got to, for sale. Looks pretty much the same as the last place. Um. Might be worth selling the scrolls and just getting a bit of extra cash for them. Yeah, he's got some books, but there's uh, nothing really. I don't think the books really add anything to the game. They're more, they're very like Skyrim um, style books uh, in the way that you can read them and they've got a nice bit of fiction and stuff in it, a bit of good bit of lore, but there's nothing really vital to the game. I just sold I all of our scrolls. Awesome. We now have 521 gold, which Yay. probably means it's worth identifying the dagger and the belt. How do we do that then? Uh, there should be a question mark tab. Okay, so. My inn is open the door. To all who no, no in this, this guy hasn't got a question mark one. There's not. Oh, we can. He's only got them. beds, buy and sell, and drinks. We can uh, to go to the temple next door and sort that out then. Cool. Um, should we leave these we... two here and just go with our main characters? Uh, before we do that, highlight the two uh, people to the left. You might uh, recognise the names. Uh, hang on, left. Mm -hmm. No. No? Oh, right. we, we, we ter were told about them. Oh, oh, they're, they're our friends. As Don't the character that remembers me. the names of him now, I'll go to Calm them. yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. Uh, something about you is f familiar, child. Your manner reminds me of a uh, sage I know, but by the name of uh, um, Gorion? It is almost a slight on him, but I see it too. Hmm. Mind, uh, your manners. Uh, this must be the child that Gorion wrote us of so often. We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you. I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. Hmm. If uh, he has passed him, we share your loss. Gorion often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Coward and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. Oh, wow! Uh, we could uh, travel with uh, you until you get settled, help you find a, a lot in life? It would be a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashville. Cal and I look into local concerns, and there are rumours of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gastgill. Um, your company would be welcome. Yes, I think so. That's a good idea. Well, good. We'll <laughs> leave as soon as you're ready, but it should be soon. Okay, now we've got seven party members, which is over the maximum, so we've got to get rid of somebody. <laughs> there are some characters that come in pairs, like um, Zar and Monteron here. If we get rid of either of them, the other one will moan at us and leave as well. 
Right. So. Get rid of both of them. Yep. So, Zar and... I'm going to make sure Montaran. Oh, I can only do one. Uh, I'll just remove him and the one I'll just remove Zar. Yeah. He'll probably have funnier dialogue, let's face it. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm sorted now, I think. I've still got the screen. Have you clicked remove slash done? Yeah, I just need to click done now. Okay. Your voice is ambrosia. You're letting me go, but we have shared so much, so many good times. This is no, we haven't. Sad day indeed. <sighs> Goodbye, so sad. Blah, blah, blah. And all that rot. Come along, Montaran. You are my counterpart and we shall not be separated. Oh, right. We've lost that one as well. Yep. And now I've got control over Jahira and you have control over Khaled. Khaled! Hello, Khaled. You're now my friend. Come over here. What's now awesome is we have a healer because Jahira oh, hang is on. a I have four. fighter. You what? Oh. I have four of them again. Uh, do, do, do. You, you'll need to sort that out. Um... Oh yeah, I see why. Um, there we go. She's in a different slot than um, Monteron was for some reason. There we go. Okay. I've got three. I'm going to check out, see what... Uh, so I've got... Who, who have I got? You have Khaled. Oh, here we go, yeah. Khaled, Khaled. We like Khaled. He's carrying uh, a potion of healing, a long sword, and he's got some armor. I think I'm pretty much gonna, just going to stack cure um, spells on Jahera. Um, okay. Armor of Faith. I'd say three rounds per level, it's, it only lasts a fight. I think Bless is pretty much the same, ain't it? Yeah. Um, at this point in the game, it's not really worth stacking buff spells that only really last a fight, because um, we'll go through so many fights per day. Right. Nature servant awaits. What do you need? Okay, so at the minute, um, we've got one that is combat for arrows, bow and arrows, and one that is a long sword. No, that's quite good. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Let's continue. Should we leave everybody else here and nip to the temple? Uh, we've got to... Yes, Friendly Armin is one of the buildings that you have to Don't enter worry about me. the group, unfortunately. Oh, right, okay. There's a few places like that, but... Um, well, let's, let's leave, then. Yep. We'll sort out, identify them, we'll come back, and I think it's probably worth resting and just resorting out our gear. You want it, and it's you probably it. worth, after that, trying to get that done for the rest of this episode, and then starting next episode with some exploration. Right, yeah. Because we've, we've hit the 20-minute mark. Cool. You are welcome here in Garl Glitter Gold oh. Sight. Your speech? Um, for a uh, bit of a respectful coin, we uh, can cure what ails thee, if you need. What sort of cures do you have available? Uh, right, do you want to throw me the items? I'm just nipping into the building now. Okay. Right, what items do you want? Anything that's got a blue kind of uh, shader in it. So anything magical that we've not identified. That's it, you've got all the magical stuff now. Both of them, there's two. <clears throat> Belt and dagger costing that's 200 the... gold total to identify. That's a lot. It is, but it's it's kind of worth it when you, uh, to avoid getting cursed items. I'll admit, I kind of knew they weren't cursed items, but at the same time, I'm, I'm trying to well, it's alright, we've got the money anyhow, never mind. Okay, we've got a dagger plus one, and a belt of okay, I didn't actually know what that was. A belt of antipode. Hmm, uh, interesting. Cold, cold resistance plus 100%, and doubles all fire base damage taken. That's worth selling. Yeah, it, cool. Yeah, we're, um, we will rarely come across a situation where that um, helps us more than hinders us. And we can sell it for 250 now, I've identified it. Now that's good. Yep. So we've actually got our money back there. I've got Plus 50. Got... Yeah. Uh, we'll have Don't to sell worry it. about me. She won't buy it. Ooh, let's let's um, head off back to the inn then. I like the fact that I'm just moving my carriage up the stairs and Jahira just tramples all across the dead body on the floor, you know? For some reason, I've actually ended up with only one character in my possession. <laughs> um, if you double-click a character, it'll send you into that building if they're in there. So you don't have to necessarily move her back in. Oh, well, I... Mm, for future reference. I've got all of them now. Yep. Uh, and I'm, I'm just about to head into... Oh, no, you're heading into the inn anyway. Yep. You 
Let's in we go. In the end. Uh, that, that was really, really bad. You want it? Thank you. you. It. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to go right. off into this side room and see what's in there. Okay, I'm just going to speak to the innkeeper. Give it to me straight. Oh, there's other people in here. I, I don't like it. I'm coming out. My inn uh, is open to sell? all who behave okay. themselves. Uh, we'll huddle around this table. Sell, sell. What armor is Immerwin wearing? Um, armor. None. Okay, I've got some leather armor for her. Excellent. Oh, I've got some studded leather armor as well, actually. Uh, belt of antipode, I'll sell that. I'll give you back your dagger though, because that would be useful. Uh, 262 made. Uh, I'm also going to buy a sling and some bullets for Jahira. Right, okay. I tend to find okay. that she just gets in the way of um, you yeah, send her to melee. Oh, right, fair enough. Um, and I'm going to get myself some proper metal armor now, since we've got the money. Uh, we don't have enough for plate mail though. Of course four. we don't, we're poor. And armor class 5. Uh, and yeah, I want armor class 4. And I wasn't checking the lever armor to see if I had better armor there, guys. I was just double checking that it is lower is better. Um, uh, I'm wearing some lever armor, so I'll sell that and give the one away. Doop to doop. I think. Oh, I also want a longbow for Calvia. I'm just scouting. Cool. Uh, Checking around. I'm going to look inside this chest. Kay. Oh, it's locked. I'm not going to look inside I've, it. I've got everything that Calvia and Jahera need. Cool. So. I've given right. Well, um, we've uh, made our way all the way up to this inn, and uh, we did have a couple of battles on the way, but we're all right. We didn't lose anybody. We've got two new party members and some more loot, so that's quite a productive uh, session, that. Yeah, that's, uh, we've done quite well. Um, oh, well. Friendly dagger, by the way. Um, Give it to me straight. Shall we? What do you that's need? Good place to call it, I think. As good as any. Yeah. We'll call it there. We've got I've got uh, four things in the journal that we need to check out. Um, so perhaps next time we can start look with the journal and uh, get some of these ticked off. So uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye, folks. Goodbye.